retail market in Houston, it's, I did this two years ago, same format, different location, and oil prices had gone from, uh, I think so, it was 110, maybe they were trading in the 78, 76, 77 range back then, that was December two years ago, and so here we are, and the market's traded down, obviously, our market has been very resistant, which I found uh, very surprising. Uh, so bad news is we're sitting about half of that today, 55 bucks. But good news is we're exactly double where we were January 26 or 7. So it's two ways to look at it, I guess. Um, retail's been very resistant to the uh, oil cloud. And at NewQuest, we have a large portfolio broadcast over primarily Northwest as a part of the city, but we have a little over 7 million square feet in the market. We're owned, principally owned, self-funded developers, long-term owners, and our current outlook is, is, is good. I would say it's flat, but it's good. Um, Here's, here's a quick shot of the economy. This gives us a really long, broad ups and downs. So we can, you can see where our ups and downs have hit. That's a really low spike we hit back there in 8, 9, 10, 11. For those who were in the business back then, you realized what happened. It was not only did it stall, it fell, and it was pretty tough. And our lending institutions that were also friendly and sent us Christmas presents, sent us deposition notices that during that period of time. And as we crawled right back out, it was, uh, it, the retail just didn't fall. It was very strange. It was quick enough that it didn't hesitate and we stayed pretty steady. So Houston's job growth, flat right now, my outlook for next year for job growth is a little up, not, not super high. It's gonna take us a long time to recover from the economics, I think it's more 2019-ish before we really start seeing our big job growth, 50 to 100,000 again. This is consumer sentiment. This is, this is nationwide. We're, it's, it's pretty flat right now. After this election, things will come through. Um, E-commerce clearly is gonna take away from our bricks and mortar retail business, but really, you know, our, our, our path of growth right now is very consistent. We do about $100 million a year of, of acquisition, land acquisition construction, and we're all new build typically. Um, so it hasn't greatly affected us. Uh, for instance, where I've seen it affect a little bit is in some of our academy work we've done in other states. Their prototypical buildings shrank about 10, 12%, and primarily because of logistics, not necessarily e-commerce. Their logistics are really live, and that's internet-based, but they're able to refill their shelves quicker. We do a holiday sales. We really forecast where we see where these retailers go. We think they're, they're going to have a very healthy sales. Houston's going to do well again. Um, that's, that's very, very, very positive. All our retailers are loaded up as much as they've been loaded up for, their hire, for the seasonal hiring. So the employment side of the business is, is up and they're positive. We do probably most of the Kroger developments or more Kroger than most in the, in the market. They're, our, you know, they're kind of a bell cow for us. Um, we typically do about three Kroger's to five Kroger's a year and that's a large slug for us. They have been consistent. They're flat right now. I would say that you will see the grocery business slowing down, and we'll, we'll discuss that more in the Q&A. Population growth by year. This is a Texas slide. This just shows you it's great to live in Texas. I mean, where Houston got flat, Austin went crazy, Dallas is going off the charts. They'll flatten. We'll pick up again in the next two, three years. Here's grocery development plan for us. We, we have five deals coming out of the ground right now. I'll run through a couple of them, but Kroger, Walmart, HEB, your market share, they make up about 20, call it 20, 75% of the total of the, of the groceries. And as I said before, we'll get into where that, where that, where that grocery battle's coming down right now. 
I'll run you through a couple of our plans and show you how bullish we are. We bought three corners two years ago at the corner of Grand, Mart, Grand Morton and uh, Grand Parkway. We have a Walmart deal here. This is on a ground lease with uh, some pad real estate. There's a Kroger Center that we just delivered and opened just recently, and it's, the market's accepted it really well. Um, it's, this is way west, and that market is really, really shaping up very well. Uh, shops at Katy Reserve, same thing, another Kroger play, um, doing ex absolutely exceptional well there. We're, we're, uh, we're, we like the west side of Houston. This is a large town center play. We're, it's under construction right now. Grand Parkway, 249, $150 million uh, under construction right now. This is a large, large play. Sam's in Kroger. This right here is, we're buying this tomorrow, or Thursday, excuse me. This is uh, 35 acres in Kingwood, right outside his front door um, for an unnamed user, probably going to be in the grocery business. Uh, however, that's, uh, this, is our, this is our newest deal. So long and short is we're very bullish on the retail business still. We're doing a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, construction currently. Prices are well. Our retail rents are holding. They've climbed consistently for the last eight quarters. Um, in addition, we've spent a fair amount of time. My partner Daryl's here, and he we work long and hard on our triple net business in other parts of the country and we do non-credit builder suits and that's a very active business because of the lending constraints right now.